Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range. With my next installment on, hey, I got this old used gun. Now I'm all hoarse, kind of sick, don't have any business out in the weather. But it's a nice, bright, sunny day, and I thought, you know, uh, one of my material uh, supporters, uh, bought me a rifle and I did some research on it and I decided, you know, I could take a gun out and shoot and see what it shoots like. Uh, so here we are. And the old used gun I got today is this one. The 6.5 Kirkano model M38 or M1938. I don't know. <coughs> yeah. Uh, not just exactly the gun that Oswald used, at least the same action. Um, I have killed a deer with one of these rifles, not this particular one, years ago. Uh, we're going to be shooting the only ammunition I can find for it, which is uh, Narma 139 grain. Semi-jacketed soft point. That's that ammo, ammo right there. The 6.5 Kirkano rifle, the 6.5 Kirkano caliber is not really known for uh, a high level of accuracy or for being very powerful. But you can kill a white deer with it. I guess you can kill, you know, something else with it. But, you know, it's not, not got a real high reputation as a is a high-end sporting rifle and doesn't have a real high-end reputation as a high-end rifle. It doesn't have a real good reputation for being accurate. Um, <clears throat> this rifle basically uses an M-block clip that you have to take six rounds of ammunition on the M-block clip, insert the clip into the magazine well. It catches in there on this uh, clip latch. Um, I don't have one, so... We're going to have to shoot it as a single shot. See what kind of marksmanship, what kind of accuracy it's got as a single shot. <coughs> well, <coughs> better out than in. So uh, I'm going to get me some ear mufflers on here. There's all kinds of variations on this rifle. This rifle has been around since before the turn of the last century. So... You know, it's been a ton of different variations on it. And they, the Italian government actually made a variation of the Carcano rifle for the Japanese Imperial military forces. It was called the I model. And it was in 6.5 Japanese. Uh, the safety on this rifle is here. You uh, push that guy up. And it relaxes the action of the gun. Uh, push back down and over. We'll look at it here in a minute. I'm going to fire one shot and see if it'll actually shoot. Well, it hit the backstop down there somewhere. I'm a little leery about these guys. They're not... <laughs> I've always been a little leery about them. <coughs> All right. Let's get serious. All right. Let's see if we can actually hit that steel target down there with it. Nope. I don't even see where it hit the backstop. One of the investigators on the Warren Commission said that this was undoubtedly the world's worst combat rifle ever developed. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I've never had a real good affinity for them, let's put it that way. Hey, it hit it. Yeah, it hit it all right. It sure did. 
it hit the target three feet to the left of the target I was aiming at. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> do that again. <laughs> You're safe, Governor Conley. <laughs> let's, damn. All right, let's try it again. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think in all of the annals of my experience I've ever seen anything just exactly like that. I'm trying to do it again. I'm aiming in the same spot, see if I can get it to hit the target beside it. This thing doesn't weigh nothing. And it kicks like a mule. Even though the Kakano is not a very act, not a very well, it's not, apparently not very accurate. Not a very powerful round. Uh, this rifle doesn't weigh anything. It's the little 38 artillery carbine. It just doesn't weigh anything. And boy, it's really got the recoil. I ain't hit anything yet except by accident. That would probably work a little bit better if you sit down and put it on paper, but I would at least like for it to be in the same county. I'm going to fire one more and I'm going to quit making a fool out of myself. All right, here we go. Nothing. I don't even know where it's hitting down there. Oh. Okay, so if you've got one of these things, your safety arrangement is here. Okay? Okay, push that guy up. That relaxes that action and puts that gun on safe. Okay? Push in on that guy. Push in on that guy and push it back over here, and it's ready to fire. Uh, when you shoot this gun with an M-block clip in it, uh, once the ammunition is expended, the clip will drop out the bottom of the magazine well. The pretty common way of making it. The old 98 commission rifles and so forth, a lot of them were made that way. So it's not uncommon for that type of action. Uh, there may actually be some out there that are really good ones. Uh, this ain't one of them. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. Uh, if you enjoy my content want to support it, uh, Patreon link in the description. Otherwise, like, date, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, like that. I appreciate you coming out watching. Taking the time. Uh, we'll see y'all.